Hi and welcome to this Markup RxP video where we'll be looking at uploading a chart from a magazine. So here we have a chart that's been sent in by one of our users. So we'll just open this chart up. And uh, it's been scanned in and you can see the chart in the top right hand corner here. This is what we're going to be focusing on. The second page of the upload is an image of what the finished uh, article will look like. Uh, but you can see that here that not all of the um, the lines are of the chart are lined up with the red grid. You can see that kind of coming across here. So what would be the process of getting this lined up? Okay, well, as always, we come into our adjust grid here and we click adjust grid we don't need to rotate anything so we can click next and then that brings us into uh, the adjust grid uh, chart page so the first thing I'm looking at here is the boundary of the grid and I can see that the boundary isn't quite lining up so that's the very first thing that I want to be able to do is we have to get the boundary right and that's the first option that we have in our list here our chart outline options and when I'm looking at this particular grid I'm also noticing that there's a big thick black line around the outside of the grid so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on chart outline options I want to go to free drag and that puts it into the free drag where we can uh, move the corners of of the chart independently from one another and all I'm going to do is I'm going to move that down and I want to put that roughly say about that location and the reason why I'm choosing that location if we just actually zoom out a bit is you can see that if I get it around about there that's where that square would finish so it doesn't it doesn't finish at the, at the outline of the thick black grid. You want it so it's kind of square to the actual grid that's shown. So all I'm going to do right there is just get it around that side. And I'm going to go and do this for each of the four corners. So it's not on the right of, of the outside of the black. Just there. And again, we're just positioning these. You can see that Markup RxP initially put it there. So we just want to move them in slightly like so done and once we're done then we hit apply and what apply will do is just try and straighten up that grid so let's click the apply button there we are and you can tell it's been applied because that will change to reset so let's close that down there now when we look at our grid again you can now kind of see that it's looking a lot better um I'm just having a quick look around and seeing what's what but here we can see that some of the lines are off at the bottom so what we can do is we can come in and play with our chart size so if you open up set chart size and we can just have a play around with these numbers so i'm just changing this number here to see so i've just changed it and what when you hit these numbers here <clears throat> when you change these numbers Markup RxP stops automatically trying to lay out the grid, but when the chart size numbers are changed, it will automatically space that number of rows and that number of columns between the boundaries that you have defined. So that's all we've done. Now you can see here that on this left hand side, the, the lines aren't quite straight. So all I'm going to do is to pick this and just drag him out ever so slightly, like so. And you can see now, because we've made the boundary a little bit wider, that's auto spaced the lines and it's just moved them out ever so slightly. So we're checking, we're checking the other side and that's looking good on the other side. But we're going to do pretty much, yeah, that, that pretty much looks okay. But if we could just maybe drag him down ever so slightly there. And you can see there that we just get these chart lines nicely lined up. Last check at the top, and you can see that there it is ever so slightly down. So you could, if you wanted to, just move him up ever so slightly, and you get that lined up. Once you're happy with that grid and now it's lined up, you can hit the done button. Yeah, that will finish it, and then you can jump onto the symbols and select your symbols, and you're ready to start marking up. 
So that's how we can go about uh, lining up a chart uh, that's within, say, it's been taken from a, <clears throat> excuse me, a magazine article. Uh, it's been run through a scanner and then it's been put into Markbar XP. Uh, I hope that helps. Many thanks for watching.